right, Sharp Friend, welcome back. You're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing there, but there's a, there's a method and a meaning to that. And uh, it's good to be back. Here we are for another Sharp Fan lesson. All right, guys. So what we're looking at there is a very basic uh, pentatonic major. Well, let's deal today with pentatonic major. And hopefully, after this lesson, you guys will realize how useful, how lovely, and how important it is, okay? So basically what that is, at the essence, at the root, simple five note run that'll really hopefully start to open up the concept and the meaning of what the pentatonic major is and how useful and how vital it is. Essentially, we're playing in the key of A, we're playing blues. Much like many of you are familiar with your basic uh, pentatonic minor box, right? <laughs> I find when a lot of you get stifled, it's when you've been dealing with that same basic box, you know, feeling like, where's the blues here? Why does this get boring? And this is why the pentatonic major and becoming familiar with it and understanding how it relates, how there are two kind of different things. They work in the same key. They express the same intentions of sounding bluesy, sounding melodic, and sounding like sounding brilliant and wonderful, right? So look, here's what we got, right? We're gonna start with open A, sorry. Right? So that's a, a, a hammer on from the third to the fourth. You're gonna begin with your middle finger, all right? No offense intended here. So we've got, right, three, four, two, four, five. Uh, sorry, three, four, two, four, two, right? Pretty simple, right? Start on the open note, your open A. Give it a little hammer on, three, four. Right. Well, now look, if we start here, same thing. These are It's an exact duplicate in an octave higher. Look. Right? It's a little bit different uh, ergonomic, or your approach, your hand position, and the way you're approaching it. It's a little bit different. It's going to vary a little bit, but it's still the same thing. So familiarize, get comfortable with doing it in both these positions, right? Right? One thing I would invite, well, one thing we could try to sort of elaborate a little bit, like what? Right? When it works, it should sound something like that. Look at this. Right? Right? See what we just done? See what just happened? All right. All right. All right. So that's basically the idea behind that. Is where. We're using the pentatonic major. We're realizing that it's so readily available in these two different positions here in a pretty simple, accessible way. And then once you're familiar with that, once you've really got confidence, and you really, you're really it's starting to make sense to you, I would encourage you to like build beyond it. Like, look. Right? Right? When I do that, I'm using the pinky because it's kind of a stretch, but it's the same thing. Like, right? Right? It's going to be a little bit different in terms of the fingers you use, the way you approach it, but ultimately, it's the very same thing. Right? So look. Right? Now let me try like combining the both, just sort of improvi improvising to you guys without really thinking about we're going to try and incorporate uh, minor and major together. Look.
hopefully there's some good stuff there for you guys. I just wanted to do another quick upload. I know it hasn't even been a week since the last, but here we are at 4,000 subscribers, all right? We somehow, we did it. One way or another, we got 4,000 people across this great, wonderful universe of ours interested in what the hell I'm doing on this guitar. I'm delighted. I'm thrilled. I thank you. I love you all, all right? Um, I hope there was enough information there. I know I went through it kind of quickly, but I know you guys are good at slowing things down. I mean, you obviously must be. So with that said, uh, you know, break those down, and this will really open the door to really uh, entering the realm of the pentatonic major, right? Uh, if I were to elaborate on, on a little bit more, just to kind of show you what else becomes available there in the first position, look. <laughs> Basically, that's kind of the gist of it. Um, so yeah, I hope this was useful to you guys. Once again, uh, you know, I appreciate you all. Hit me up on the uh, the Instagram, G Sharp Media on the Instagram. Once again, we're doing Skype lessons, offering one-on-one -on -one tutorials with you guys. It's super cheap, super easy to set up with me. Um, if you do try and reach out, make sure you're not doing it here on YouTube. I do not check the inbox. I do not check the messages on YouTube. All right, if you're trying to reach me, find me on Facebook. Find me on Instagram. Let's connect. Let's let's become epic together, right? G Sharp fam. Appreciate you guys. Have a great day, okay? Until next time.